My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. And though years would congeal Grandpa's brain to malt meal, he'd one wish that would not be denied. For his will said to bury him in the clock when the old man died. Now Grandfather's grandfather built him the clock, and he built it like no clock before. But the old so-and-so built it so high and wide that we can't fit it out through the door. <laughs> so when Grandma had been calmed and Grandpa had been embalmed, we discovered the clock was too wide. But the goddamned cadaver had gotten jammed. He was stuck inside. <laughs> Now old Grandpa Pa standing there in the hallway of 917 Cherry Lane. And he stands the old cuss making faces at us, which we try to ignore just the same. <laughs> but we still think of him as we haggard, pale, and grim stagger into the cold morning's light. For at odd times, he's ringing the fucking chimes every goddamn night. So at 3.22 a.m., ding dong, ding dong, my God, there goes Gramps again. Ding dong. <laughs> it's odd. He's ringing the fucking chimes every god.